Normally it's these revealing shots that set up the story. We're going to transform this PS5 and make it look good again, but the outside actually doesn't look that bad. The fun in this system apparently is on the inside, the reason why Steve gave it to me to clean. So let's see what's going on. Bugs. Normally my wife is one of my greatest supporters. She watches all my videos as soon as they release. But I'm going to go ahead and tell her to skip this one. Because I love her, and I want her to be able to sleep at night. Normally I wouldn't clean as I go like this, but it smells so bad and I just can't let these bugs fall off on my workstation, so we're going to keep vacuuming them up as we see them. That is so gross. And it smells worse than it looks. Oh, there's actually a little mini drive in there. Steve already voided the warranty, but I'm gonna just completely remove this sticker. These screws are different lengths and different threads in the way they connect to plastic and metal, and so we're just gonna set these aside, hopefully in a way that we can look at when we're putting it back together and remember where they go. I'm gonna set these fan ones here. Remove our cooling fan and take a look. It is disgusting as expected. I got another handful of bugs from vacuuming down inside of there. Just continue to get our last screws here so that we can remove the inner casing. And we're probably going to see more. Yep, we have more cockroaches. Are those cockroaches? That's what Steve and I always call them but we don't actually have cockroaches where we live. They seem smaller than I imagine cockroaches would be. Some bug expert from the South has got to let us know. I'm hoping that this disk drive at least is clean inside of here. I'm not overly confident, but they are kind of a pain to clean if I have to. This metal tape here is gross. Let's have a look. Oh. So far it doesn't look too bad, but we still need to get all the way inside of this Blu-ray drive here. Okay. Yeah, it's gross. I'm still going to try to clean it as it is right here, rather than taking it apart further, but it's disgusting. One of the best things about PS5s is the 43 screws that you have to take out in order to remove the motherboard shield. And it looks like I missed one. We got a few cables to remove and then we can get this shield out of the way. And one more reveal. Not too bad on that side, but I did find a little bug hanging out. These are all dead bugs, at least. I don't think I could handle it if they were alive and moving around. And, oh, I made a mistake there. I should have taken that off first. I'm glad that that didn't fall in the liquid metal. Compared to the last shield, that was just hardly any screws at all. Is 
As you can see, there are cockroaches that really love getting in this warm spot. More bugs. Let's get the power supply out of here. Always use caution when working with power supplies. You don't want to put anything metal inside of any of the openings that you could get in here. Let's just get this completely taken apart because we're going to want to soak as many of these plastic pieces as we can to try to clean them. And then everything else is going to need individually cleaned with isopropyl alcohol and Q-tips and brushes and basically anything at our disposal. All right, I'm gonna leave this one out of the soak because there is this metal cooling fan shield here that I don't want to remove. It's kind of like welded on with the plastic instead of screws that you can take off and we'll just clean it separate. Just get this guy off of here. It's amazing how much these bugs, when they die and goo and dry on these boards and on all of the metal pieces and everything inside of here, how difficult it is to get this residue off. I would rather try to clean soda pop off of this any day than the cement caused by bug decay. Okay, we're gonna take this outside and blow it off with air. I do not want this all over my indoor workspace. And that's what it looks like after just putting some canned air on it outside. Got rid of quite a bit of it, but we are gonna take our isopropyl alcohol 99% solution and take our time to clean it as good as we can. We did receive a comment from somebody asking if they could see the Q-tips after cleaning something all in a pile. So I'm gonna save them up here as I go. And we'll get one good shot of nasty gross Q-tips for whoever that is, and I don't know why they like it. But here you go. And that's what it looks like after quite a bit of scrubbing off screen. Oh, it's just so disgusting. Look at this. Now, I could take this apart, but I'm not going to because I don't want to demonstrate too many things on this channel that I wouldn't recommend somebody else doing, and I definitely wouldn't recommend taking apart a power supply at home. So we're gonna clean the outside of it as best we can. Just try to get this residue off, and we're gonna go with that. And here's what it looks like after quite a bit of cleaning. Not too bad. This metal is almost the most difficult part to clean out of all the things inside of here. It's just really hard to get this bug goo removed from here. But with patience and time, we will get it. 
There. Okay, that water's too gross for me. I'm gonna have to change it. Now we'll just handle this piece at a time using our paintbrush. It does a good job of cleaning, but there's some staining here from that dirt that we're going to use our magic eraser on. I don't mind using the magic eraser on this matte finish. I definitely don't recommend it on anything glossy, but with the right amount of pressure and care, I'm confident in how it will turn out. There are some clear plastic pieces that I didn't realize just pop off right there, so we're going to remove those, and that helps us clean even better. Now this is the part I didn't soak because I want to keep that metal cooling fan cover out of the water as much as possible, but we will get it wet. After I'm done cleaning this, I'm going to rinse all of these pieces off and I'll intentionally dry this one with air to make sure that it doesn't sit there and rust with water. All right, I think we're going to move on. Let's get this put back together. I'm going to spread this liquid metal around a little bit again with this special Q-tip that Steve gave me. It's not really a Q-tip, but it's something that we use to re-spread the liquid metal around just to make sure it's well evenly coated. I'm gonna replace all of my tape here. It wasn't usable. Again, so we're removing the old tape that I thought I was gonna use and putting our own tape on. Then we can reattach all of our cables. All right, we've got all our screws lined back up where we think they go. 
So far, so good. Make sure to tuck our wire back under here. Steve said he got this PlayStation 5 working before he handed it off to me. And if it doesn't work after I'm done cleaning it, he said he's taking it out of my allowance. So here's hoping. We have blue light, we have PlayStation logo, and it looks like we're good to go. I'm gonna try a PS4 game in here, but it is backwards compatible and it should tell us whether or not the disk drive is working. Hey. It is reading the game. There's a few other things we'll test, but I feel good about it. I was gonna make a video of me playing a game just for the satisfaction at the end, but honestly, I just spent the last hour dealing with menus and logins and all kinds of stuff, and I'm over it. I've got other stuff to do. I wouldn't mind spending a little bit more time with this PS5, so if you think Steve should give me this one so I can take it home and just keep it, then be sure to go to Tronics Fix, find any random video, and just leave a bunch of comments telling Steve that he should give it to me. So in the spirit of Tronics Fix, thanks for watching and I hope you have a good one.